In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this inequality. But before that, I want to give a shout out to Angelo Pazon Irorita and Swayam Prakash who answered this problem correctly in our Facebook page. Let's get started. To solve this inequality, we first write it in a form without the ln. Keep in mind that uh, ln is an increasing function whose graph looks something like this where the x-intercept is at x equals 1. So therefore, it is clear from the graph of y equal to ln x that the value of ln is less than or equal to 0 when this expression here is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1. So this is the part of the graph where ln is less than or equal to 0, including the x-intercept, which is uh, x equal to 1. So this uh, inequality is equivalent to this compound inequality, where this expression here, x squared plus 7x plus 12, must be greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1. Now, to solve this compound inequality, we split it into two inequalities. So we have here x squared plus 7x plus 12 greater than 0. And since we need to satisfy both inequality, we use and here instead of or. And we need to satisfy also this inequality. So we're going to solve these two inequalities and then take the intersection of their solution sets to get the solution set of this inequality, which will be the solution set of this original inequality. We can easily solve these inequalities using sine graph or sine chart. And to do that, we first find the x values where these expressions are equal to 0. So for the first expression, this is factorable. And we can factor it to x plus 3 times x plus 4. So it is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 3 or x equals negative 4. Now, this uh, second expression here is not factorable. So to find the values of x that will make it 0, we use the quadratic formula. So we'll get here x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we'll get here negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 5 all over 2. Now we can easily make our sign charts for these uh, two expressions. So we have the following sign charts here. We know that it will be alternating sign and it will be positive, negative, and then positive. So keep in mind, these are the zeros of this uh, expression here. And then negative four and negative three are the zeros of this uh, expression. Now, why do we have alternating signs here? Positive, negative, and positive also for this uh, second expression. Because if you think of the graph of the parabola, y equal to this, it's a parabola that opens up. And we know the zeros of the function already. So it means that the graph may look something like this. Okay, it's a parabola that opens up, so it is positive here and then negative between the zeros and then positive again here. Similar to the graph of y equal to this expression. It's a parabola that opens up and negative 4 and negative 3 are zeros of your function. So it is positive here, negative in between, and then positive on the left of negative 4. Now, what is the solution to the first inequality? Then since the expression must be greater than zero, so therefore we have to choose this uh, positive part here, okay? And for this uh, second inequality, since the expression must be less than or equal to zero, we have to choose uh, this uh, part here. And of course, we have the equality sign here, so we need to include the endpoints. 
this uh, endpoint here, left endpoint and the right endpoint. Therefore, what is the solution to the original inequality? It's the intersection of these two intervals here with this interval. And that is equal to this interval, including the left endpoint, but excluding the right endpoint, union with this interval here, excluding the left endpoint and including the right endpoint. In inequality, we can express that this way. And in interval notation, we can write it as the union of this half open interval with this half open interval. And this is the answer to our problem.